Alt 92.3's Not So Silent Night. It's Kane. We are backstage in the, well, this is the most boring room of the whole place. <laughs> the interview room. Only by decor, not by who's here. Churches are here. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. We are quite boring How are you? as well. You're we're what? Quite, we're quite boring as well. So. You're, you, really? For now. You don't yeah. strike me. There's a V. <laughs> you used a V instead of a U. That's, That's pretty not wild, isn't it? It's yeah. pretty wild. <laughs> <laughs> pretty crazy. Dude, yeah, yeah. like, for the, for the longest time, I'm like, <laughs> I thought people were telling me that they're mispronouncing it. I'm like, how can it be churches? I noticed, it, the, a, I noticed <laughs> the other day there was a band called Ghost, but with an X instead of an O. I'm like, you can't call yourself <laughs> Ghost. There's already a band called Ghost. Right, Maybe that's like, true. Is it a kiss in the middle of the word? Like how do you say that, though? It's called Ghost. I don't know. That's about as close as you're going to get. Well, thanks for coming here and doing the show. I'm excited. It's a great lineup. So we really... Yeah. Me on it, mm. so. Have you played with or uh, seen any of these ar- other artists before? Yeah, we've played mm-hmm. with Bastille a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like you say that like you're sick of them. No, 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 no. Oh, no. We keep keep bumping into them and they. Uh, they were in the, the hotel lobby in the last hotel, night. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We've um, become good friends with those guys over the years. Like, I guess we broke through at similar times. Hmm. So every festival season, we always end up putting albums out at the same time. So every festival season, you just see them once a weekend <laughs> so, oh, from like May <laughs> to <laughs> September or whatever. Nice. Those yeah. guys are really busy. They put out a lot of stuff. Maybe yeah. working yeah. with them one day. Has that ever come up? Or, uh, with, uh, yeah, I mean, Dan's well. unbelievably talented. And yeah. he's on the same label as us in the UK. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we always seem to be on festival bills with them. Um, and we know the guys from Death Cab pretty well. And they're really lovely also. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of mad how many bands are on this show. I'm like, Gonna have to turn it around quite quickly. Yeah, well, there's not one a hole on this whole yeah. uh, uh, bill tonight. <laughs> oh, maybe we'll say hello to Muse tonight. That's oh yeah, they're just the next hour, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, wait, hang on. I just uh. said there's not one a hole on the bill, and you kind of like shied away. You just I just did I? Say yeah. Oh. You did. No, you were like you looked away and laughed like well, yeah, he doesn't know. I just about like, like is that how you booked it? It was I mean, based we, we've on never like met, so how much of an a hole somebody. Okay. Oh, all right. I got you. Ian's name. It's me. Nice. I spoke too soon. Oh. Uh, let's talk business for a minute. The uh, the new EP. Yes. Yeah. Hannah Session. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Acoustic. But there's five tracks on it. Acoustic tracks five from tracks. your last album. What's yeah. uh, you just? Mm-hmm. What was the reason you wanted to do that? Oh. It was just a special room, that mm-hmm. place, a special studio. You know, there, there's a, so much history there uh-huh. between Boy and Iggy and Depeche. Just Depeche. And all ever. sorts of great stuff. Yeah. You too made Acting Baby there as mm-hmm. well. And just a historically, um, it's an amazing uh, place, and there's an energy in it. So it's in Berlin, and uh, there's an amazing energy in that place. Um, yeah, I think like uh, Bowie recorded Heroes there as well, and like part of the wow. lyrics were written about the view out the window when mm-hmm. he saw the engineer <laughs> kissing a girl underneath the wall and everything. So yeah, it was, it was a really important. Um, it was a great opportunity that that we got to do it. Yeah, and it's always nice to. It's something that we have kind of developed. Um, mm. over the course this kind of acoustic side because it's always good to be invited to radio stuff like that and oh yeah. yeah and and that's how it started mm. kind of grew grew legs from there we would do so many sessions on the piano and the guitar and voice that eventually we started really enjoying it <laughs> and then mm. thought it might be quite fun to represent that mm. somewhere nice i think it should be pointed out though that love is dead did go number one on two charts so yeah. congratulations yeah. the mm-hmm. billboard rock mm-hmm. chart and the alternative chart you guys feel good right yeah Definitely. i thought the other you were gonna be like psych it's a joke and i'm like yeah so what are your plans for the uh the next year more shows, more loads shows. and loads and loads of shows. You ever get tired of like, especially are you gonna be on the road during the holidays? Like, don't you just want to be home in your jammies? And sure, a little bit, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we get like a little bit of time off, so we can go, we can do stuff for Christmas, and then we're playing shows at New Year's. So, yeah. and I think that's kind of, I find New Year to be kind of depressing, if I'm honest. Totally. So I think in a way, good to be working. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're doing a lot of shows, and I think we're gonna maybe wrap it up, like the end of next summer, and go and think about new stuff. Cool. Are you guys done shopping for each other yet, or? <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm. I am. I love your reaction. Oh, you are. Yeah. Like, <sighs> well, I've got my li- like. I guess for Christmas, uh, I tend to be really boring, and I give the guys like charity donations. But I know where I'm going to get the charity donations from. And Martin's birthday is Christmas Eve, and I've got, I've got it already. Oh my god! No. So. Like, or, honestly, I'm getting teary <laughs> even thinking about it. When Lauren's like sa- satisfied like that, she's she'll give you some really thoughtful gift that like. Stabs you in the heart emotionally and like in a nice way. In a nice way. I don't way. know if this will stab you in the heart emotionally. I think <laughs> that <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> I got you a knife. But a butter knife. So it takes a long time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know if you'll find it emotional, but I think that you'll use it based okay. on something I've heard you being frustrated yeah, about. I think that you'll use it. I'll tell you after. 
you can't. That's the pressure. Now you got to find something good. I mean, well, this I, is the constant pressure, and I never live up to it. But that's why they're taking it away because like, now it's just like give money to a charity, and then yeah. I'll be like, oh, thank you. <laughs> so that's nice. Oh, speaking of which, just one more thing. Um, the show uh, is benefiting the American Cancer Society. Yeah. You guys have any thoughts on that? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's something that touches so many people's lives, mine yeah. included. So it's uh, between family and whatnot. So it's important. Yeah, I'm, I'm very proud to, to, to be involved. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thanks, guys. Churches, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and all that. Yeah, Thank you. you have a great show. We're counting on you. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> we'll bring it. Yep. We've got 20 minutes. We're going to come, we'll come in it. strong for 20 yeah, minutes. Yeah. And Excellent. then they Bring go back. Churches Thanks. on Alt 92.3.